beginning of the human race is one of the greatest mysteries known to man. The universe is believed to have been created by something called the Big Bang, while many others believe in creation and some type of higher being. A popular theory regarding the dawn of man and where we as humans come from is known as the theory of evolution. The idea that as time goes on, different species adapt to their environments and many different species share a common ancestor. Many believe that humans evolved from ape-like beings, primates like monkeys and gorillas. And although not proven to be true, there are some pieces of evidence pointing towards its validity. The most compelling of which is the way our primitive brains react when we throw virtual monkeys and balls and maneuver them around mazes. Monkey Ball is a game franchise that debuted in the early 2000s as an arcade cabinet with a banana-shaped joystick. The objective of the game is that you are a monkey with Pac-Man eyes and cinnamon roll ears, you're in a ball, and you tilt the stage in order to make it to the goal. Although very simple at first, these stages increase in difficulty as the game goes on. The game franchise truly hit its peak when the Nintendo GameCube hit the scene in 2001. The console version of Monkey Ball, now named Super Monkey Ball, debuted as a launch title for the system. Included were new levels, a new character, and many, many party games. It was followed up with its sequel, Super Monkey Ball 2, the following year. I was born in 2004, and my two brothers, Hunter and Jacob, had a GameCube. Included in their rotation of games was Super Monkey Ball 2, and the three of us played that thing to death. Even after they grew up and moved away and moved on, I was still in love with the game and played it for many, many years. But there's just one problem. I am awful at video games. Yeah, I know, it's surprising, but it's true. I was never one to pick up on things quickly with different types of games. And although Monkey Ball 2 is one of my favorites, let's uh, go ahead and get the news straight from the source. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Good. So I'm basically here to ask you, uh, was I a good gamer as a child back when we would play together? I don't really remember too much, but I remember maybe you would, for lack of a better word, fuck up. Monkey Ball Friends, that's the only one I remember you playing. Yeah, I think you got uh, past the beginner levels, and that whole intermediate advanced is whenever I noticed, you know, the lack of a better word, fuck ups. You were young, yeah, um, not good. What's up, Jet? Aw, oh, look. So wonderful to see you, Gandalf! Growing up playing video games with me, was I a bad gamer? Yes or no? Answer as honestly as you can. Yes. Yeah? Yes. What about Monkey Ball? Was I at least decent at Monkey Ball? I don't remember specifically Monkey Ball, you being anything exceptionally bad or good. I just remember doing the Halo Warthog run and screaming at the top of our lungs at like one in the morning and dad didn't say anything except for the following morning. He goes, you guys were up pretty late and I heard everything. Monkey Ball, you were not great. Yeah. You were terrible. Appreciate the honesty. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Pure All right. Honesty. All right. See you in another year and a half. Bye. Bye. Even though I'm not great at video games, I like to think I'm at least half decent at Monkey Ball in general considering I've beaten Monkey Ball 2 many times before. However, when it comes to the original Super Monkey Ball, that's when things get interesting. The context in which you need to beat Super Monkey Ball 1 on the GameCube is crazily difficult. And in all my years of playing, I have never ever come remotely close to beating the game. So let's pop the game in and conquer the beginner and advanced levels. We need to start from stage number one. Okay, so in order to get my bearings straight, our main goal for this whole thing is to make it to the master levels to beat the game entirely. But I'm pretty out of practice with Monkey Ball, so I'm going to start from, you know, square one the beginner mode. As I mentioned earlier, I grew up playing this game uh, with my two brothers, and my brother Jacob, I know, would always play as Gone Gone. Hunter, I think, would either play as Ai Ai or Baby, but I always remember playing as Baby. I think it's because I was the baby brother, so I was kind of stuck with Baby. 
and that's who I'm used to playing as, so we're gonna go baby again. So here we go. I'm not even gonna bother with collecting bananas in the beginner mode because there's really no point in doing it. And then one thing that's very important with this game that you guys will realize is that warp goals are a thing. So this green goal, it'll allow me to jump to floor number five. So technically I don't even really need to play 10 stages in this mode. I can get away with playing eight. And then these bonus floors, they show up. Um, I think in advanced and expert, they show up every 10 floors if I'm not mistaken. But these are really just for collecting bananas. So you can kill yourself on these stages and they won't take away a life from you. So that one you can beat just by doing that. If anyone says that they don't like bananas, they're like sociopaths. Like how the controls in this game, I, I mean, if you guys have played it before, then you already know. But if you guys are completely new to Monkey Ball and if you're just watching the footage that I'm recording right now, it might not seem that hard. But trust me, the controls in this game are very sensitive and the GameCube controller is perfect for the context of this game. And you guys will see with the type of stuff uh, that'll come up later on in the game to progress through the levels, it gets really difficult. So you need the sensitive control. So it's good that uh, that level is at the end of the beginner difficulty to, to kind of give you like an idea of uh, how the game will work out later on down the road. And notice that I did not die at all in the 10, um, beginner stages so I made it to the uh, beginner extra stages uh, again there's three of these and you guys will see these stages again in the advanced and expert extra uh, stages because they like to repeat these but I think the programming is slightly different to make them a little bit harder they move a little bit faster this is the final beginner extra stage and this one is actually pretty tough if you're not careful like that um, because the floor on the AV logo is a perfect mirror, so it's very hard to kind of uh, get your head on straight and know exactly where to move, but as you can see, it's really not that bad. I mean, one death, and the death was on the last stage, that's, that's not, uh, not too bad, actually. So that is one difficulty setting down. So the next thing is the advanced stages. And in order to make it to the extra stages, you need to beat all 30 stages without dying once to make it to the five extra stages. So even if you collect 100 bananas and you get a one up and you lose that life, it doesn't matter. One mistake, one fallout, and you're through, you're done. Don't expect me to get it on the first go. Again, I'm not gonna worry about bananas because they won't really help us in this case. And the good thing about Monkey Ball is that part of the challenge is that whenever you play it for the first time, you don't exactly know what the levels are going to entail. So you kind of need to figure them out as you go. But over the years, you know, I've, I've played through all these stages. I have strategies that either I've come up with myself or just through YouTube walkthroughs over the years. You know, I know how to beat all of these stages. So the only thing that I need to really worry about is my execution, which granted, that's easier said than done a lot of the time, but it's still quite a challenge, you know, getting to know these stages and actually play them and play them well it takes quite a bit of practice. Since I took the time to show you the beginner stages in full to get you guys and myself familiar with the game again, I'm gonna breeze through most of these advanced stages just to save some time. Some of them are tough, but they're not the hardest that this game has to offer. Even still, trying to beat these levels flawlessly is a task and a half. The warps that I took included the green goal on floor six and the red goal on floor 18, which leads us to around here in the run. Yep, see, told you this one's tough. So since I just died right there, even though I got like the one up and I still have three lives left, um, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the uh, extra stages that way. So this is what you gotta do. If you wanna make it to the extra stages, if you wanna beat the game, these are the sacrifices that you gotta make. I think it's just cause of the way that you need to like angle the ball to make it into the goal and it also gets steeper and it seems to get a little bit skinnier as uh, it goes on, but I just beat it, so whatever. Now, you guys wanna talk about problematic stages. Not this one, but floor 30, the final floor in uh, advanced. This one is pretty problematic. This one is kinda tough to do. 
this one I always just kind of I always kind of plow through to make it to the goal but I kind of just missed my chance to do that so we're just gonna kind of do it the quote-unquote normal way just to play it as safe as possible even though there are bumpers right there and if you hit those they will send you flying and there's only 30 seconds on the timer and yeah okay I've done this before I swear yet another attempt mm. This, this, this one's this one's difficult the last attempt I mentioned I should get that warp that green goal in uh, this floor and there's actually a really cool cheat uh, shortcut thing that you can do I would attempt to do that but um, that'd be very risky on my part yeah, maybe this is a big uh, big gamble that we're taking here I'm not gonna make it am I come on make it no no! We... Of course. Yeah, that... Okay. Here we go. Floor 30. Just gonna gun it again. Gun it. Okay. Stage 1 is pretty much the exact same as uh, the beginner extra 1 trick with this one is that you gotta wait for it to go into the middle where it really like slows down like that the main enemy in this one is time it's starting to sound like James Rolfe but it's very true so you do that little hop skip thing and then you have whatever remaining time you have left to just speed your way to the goal because the goal is inside this uh, like maze thing and it's really difficult to get to actually Can't let the time get to you. Here's the AV logo. And the hardest is yet to come, of course. All right. So you guys remember Advanced Floor 30, right? Well, yeah, this is um, <laughs> this is Advanced Extra 5. And this one is actually very difficult um, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, you can't speed your way through it, like how I sped through Advanced 30. There's like this ring thing at the end that you need to watch out for. I can knock you off the uh, stage very easily. I have these tiny platforms that you need to cross traffic to get to, all these bumpers and everything. Yeah, this one is actually really difficult. And there's our continue screen. This is our first time seeing it, so yes, we will continue. Fourteen seconds left on the clock. Here we, here we go. Okay, we just need to hit against it to bounce and. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That one can get you for a while. That's like the first level in the game that like, uh, like that. That that that's kind of pissing me off a little bit. That one. But we made it. That took. Um, I thought that was gonna take way longer. So I'm actually. Really happy about that, so we're, we're good. So now we get to the third difficulty level. Now this is where I would hit this brick wall, this was my burden, as far as I could get in Monkey Ball 1. I could beat this difficulty level, but most of the time not on a reasonable amount of continues. I'm of course talking about the expert levels, so what's the deal with them? So we know that beginner has 10, advanced has 30, well, Expert has 50 levels, some of which are among the hardest in gaming history. And yes, there are Expert Extra stages, and unlike Beginner and Advanced, Expert is a little bit more forgiving with how to get to the Expert Extra levels. The key to making it to Expert Extra is that you're allowed to die as many times as you want as long as you keep getting extra lives by collecting bananas. Because as soon as you lose a continue, you lose your chance of making it to the final 20 levels in the game. The 10 Expert Extra levels, and then the 10 Master levels. So again, I consider myself to be a bad gamer, so my goal for this whole project is to beat the game regularly. No speedruns, no cheating, no trick strats, no world records. 
My only goal is to literally beat this game as it was originally intended. So to give you guys an idea of the difficulty spike from something like beginner and advanced to expert, I'm gonna run one of my friends through some of the expert stages. Yo, is that <laughs> Mike? How's it going, man? What are you doing here? I, I, I told you we're playing some monkey ball today. You're a new player, right? You've never played monkey ball before, right? I have not. We're gonna test your might, so to speak. <sighs> all right, I'll, I'll take that as a yes. Man, this is a nice place you got, man. It's crazy. Shut up. Like, all right, the Wii's already set up and every and we're already recording. That's crazy. So, expert stage number one this doesn't look too bad man so to start off mike was actually doing real well he made it through the first six stages after only dying around 25 times which wasn't too shabby considering he's never played the game before but it wasn't long before he hit the wall expert seven anyone who has played monkey ball will tell you that this level is the hardest in the game so far the level starts off easy as you're able to just hold straight then you encounter a narrow peak that you need to build enough speed to go over make your way down this staircase launch yourself over this checkerboard floor and finally utilizing the game's extremely precise control maneuver yourself over this thin path to the goal all while that timer is ticking away an ultimate test of patience timing control, and skill. A tall order for only level seven out of 50. Like 13 years ago, but this is the run killer. <laughs> this is floor seven. There's like easier versions of the stage, but the, the they can The camera can fucking fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, this one, this one's hard. Yeah, you welcome. think I can't beat this one? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I'd be very impressed if you could, actually. Oh, well, I'm going way too fast, first of all. I think it's because I have fucking gone gone doing the bimmy shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> that is like terrible right there. Yeah. I'm like, that's probably like not even the hardest part of the stage, yeah. to be honest, yeah. Is the timer tight on this one? Very tight if you're oh not fast God. enough. Now I just want to fucking speed run it. Yeah. That's that's the trap that you fall into with this game, is that you just like get mad and you want to beat it and then you just start messing up. Yeah, this part's way too easy because you can just go straight as soon as you spawn. Yeah. Is that it? That's how yeah. you do it. Yep. Fuck! Do you want me to get you past like that first part so you can try like yeah, the yeah, rest yeah, of the level? That. Okay, yeah, I got you. Watch, he can't do it first try. Th this part is honestly like really difficult, and I'm not used to playing as Gon Gon. I normally play as a baby. Does it change? Is it like make the ball lighter and heavier? No, I I don't think it does, but I don't know. The the baby is like smaller, so it's a little easier just like to look at. <laughs> to like balance yourself on things. You want you want to know what I need to do to like complete this game or like the road that I need to take, right? For every 100 bananas that you collect, you get an extra life to add on to the continue. And like all 50 expert stages, I need to beat on one continue. That'll give me the expert extra stages, which is an extra 10 stages. And I need to beat all of those on the same continue to make it to the master levels. So there's, need there's another fucking stage. Yeah. Of levels? Basically, in order to beat the game to make it to the master levels, I need to beat 60 stages on one continue. That's fucking stupid. That's the whole purpose of this thing that I'm making right now. Oh, so Monkey Bone Master. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Monkey Master. <laughs> he gets it now. So if, I, listen, if I manage to do this, this will be probably my greatest video game achievement because my my crowning achievement when it comes to video games is beating Clop. Like, remember the Clop game with like the uh, guy yeah. The Olympic runner. I beat that in high school like twice. Anyway, uh, thanks for being my test guinea pig for this. I hope. Do, do you wish me luck on this journey? Because no. it's going to be a pain in the ass to do. Yeah, yeah I, I guess. guess. I guess so. Yeah. All right. Thanks, man. So um, I need to. <laughs> I need to attempt my first expert run of this, actually. So uh, uh, why don't you just attempt one right here? Because uh, I already filmed it, oh. actually. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, Mike was having trouble starting out with Expert. Granted, after I ran him through the beginner levels in Monkey Ball 1 and threw him into the master levels in Monkey Ball 2, he's well on his way to becoming a Monkey Master himself.
Dude, I'm telling you, waffle pone, kind of. <laughs> yo, <laughs> the yo, yo. That was that was really impressive, actually. But let's get back to the main program. So to recap, I now have 70 levels left in the game to complete. So we're really only just getting started. I have the 50 expert levels that I need to beat on one continue, followed by the 10 expert extra levels that must also be beaten on one continue in order to make it to the 10 master levels. I think the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to play through expert mode just normally to see how I am to start. And hopefully, now that I'm a little older and more skilled than I was as a kid, I'll be able to make this happen and just take this through as calm as possible. Because of the one-up thing, uh, beating this on one continue, I will be focusing on getting bananas this time around. So I need to really use this run as the blueprint of how the other runs will go. Cause I've gotten, I've gotten pretty far in expert mode before actually. Uh, it took me many weeks of practice, but I, I made it pretty far. I'm not sure exactly how far, but um, yeah, see this is, uh, yeah. Line yourself up, just like that. Okay, there you go, there you go. We got it now, we got it. Okay. <laughs> One life left on our first continue, and we are only on floor number five. Floor seven, okay, this, this one is gonna make me shut up. So you guys remember the final floor from beginner and floor 17 from advanced? This is, uh, this is their older brother, Floor 7 from Expert Mode. This is one that took me just days to actually master as a kid to get by. And even then, I wouldn't say that I mastered it as a kid. I just got very lucky. Um, this is my strategy of how to beat it. Um, I actually might be able to get through it if I'm able to get through this last part. You play this one and you know that the game is not messing around anymore. Uh, a common uh, criticism of this game is that this stage comes way too early in the expert mode, which honestly I kind of have to agree just because of my history with it as a kid. Okay, um, that was that was first attempt. That was good. Less than a second left on it, but hey, we made it anyway. Uh, that one, that one you need to get the timing right right away. That one, I normally wait like a half second before I start going. Okay, there we go. Th this one might be the uh, the killer for this uh, no continue run. This one, I forget even the way that I typically go. I think I go right down the middle to get that bunch of bananas. And then, okay, we actually made that one. Okay. It might not look that difficult, but the uh, platform gets a little more steep each time that you, uh, you know, progress. And uh, not only that, but it only gives you 30 seconds to do this level, so it's... Okay, all right. And then you get stages like this where it really just bends you right over and it's not easy. Yeah, okay. If I can get this one on this life, it'll, it'll be a miracle. It's not a miracle, okay. That is one tally mark. We have hit our first Continue. Alright, there we go. That didn't take too many attempts, but I'm at three continues right now. I gotta bookmark this one. So 21 and most likely 28 are the uh, most problematic ones so far. Right, here we go. Nope. Not quite. There we go. All right, that was it. That's the right angle that you gotta get. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Monkey ball, monkey ball, monkey ball. Whatever shall I do with monkey ball? Sensitive controls and uh, your placement on the, uh, on the stage comes in very handy here because this is like the skinniest platform, not this one, but the one coming up. It's like the skinniest platform that is in the game so far anyway. Now 
There we go. And we even got the big bunch of bananas at the end. I don't know why I'm playing so well. Maybe maybe it's because I played beginner and advanced earlier today as a warm-up. And I beat them like legitimately, like I got the extra stages in them. So I've been practicing quite a bit today, for a couple hours at least, as I just walk off the edge of the stage right there. This one, I don't even know like what the strategy is for this one. This one is just stupid. You just need to gun it and just bounce. And sometimes it works really well. Like that time it worked really well. Other times you can't get it up. It's like an old man trying to have relations. And you just, you just can't get up. I don't know why that was the first thing that came to mind, but um, see, I'm distracting myself with old man penises. I gotta focus, focus. I've used 10 continues so far. So if I can leave it off at a nice even number of continues, I'd be happy. It looks like we're on the road to doing that. I forget what 49 is. I think that's the one with the rotating bumpers, right? And yeah, okay. This one is really easy. Just gotta do that. That one shouldn't be too bad. And then floor 50, the final floor, this one is also not too shabby. This is the one you just gotta act quick on. You just gotta get on, follow the path, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay. Trying to calculate the problematic stages based on that one run. There's a holy trinity of them. They're, they're uh, 21, 28, and 32. Those were, I think, the three most problematic ones. And I guarantee I'm just having a really good day today as far as playing goes, because there's a lot of really tough ones there. There's definitely room for improvement. The main thing I gotta worry about is controlling my aggression. I mean, if you look at the GameCube controller, there are scars on it from failed monkey ball runs. And again, I just need to control my aggression no matter how much I wanna throw the thing right through the TV and start breaking stuff, I can't do that. Now that I'm older, hopefully my levels of patience have gotten better. Hopefully I'm able to stay a little more monk-like in this state. It's definitely gonna take some time. Okay, Amazon now has the cheap option to print off custom t-shirts, and it'd be most appropriate if I open it up on camera. Amazing. This is pretty silly, I think, but here we are. To start my journey with making it to master, my first goal is to make it to expert extra. And in order to do that, I need to develop a plan for the 50 expert stages. So for my second expert run, I took notes of stages that gave me trouble and the amount of bananas I typically go for. So I actually think I have it all figured out here. Since I take the warp in stage number two, that means I get to skip stages three and four so I don't have to worry about them in any way. Then all the bonus stages, five, 10, 20, 30, and 40, they don't really count since they're only used for collecting bananas so I cut all them out anyway. Meaning technically, I only have 43 stages to complete to complete expert mode. And of these 43, I only labeled about 7 of them as really difficult, the ones that really give me trouble, the ones that I can't really seem to get my first time around, typically. And then the banana count, which I marked underneath each stage, I found out that expert mode is actually pretty generous with the amount of bananas that they give you most of the time. I should be able to pass expert mode if I play absolutely flawlessly with about 7 lives to spare going into expert extra. So I think it's time to get some serious practicing in. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but it involves bananas, so I feel like I like need to get it. Ah, uh, here we go. Now this is the crown jewel right here.
I don't know, the first, like, 30 levels have some really problematic stages in them. The rest of them, though, I feel like the latter half of Expert Mode is not quite as bad. Get up there. <sighs> wow. <sighs> that was stupid. That was the dumbest. See, the thing that I don't understand is that, like, sometimes I can beat these stages the first way around. God damn it. Wow. That was a save and a half. <laughs> that was, uh... I put, I put my entire body weight into the control stick for that one. That was, uh... That was impressive, actually. I just ate 10 banana popsicles in like one sitting. <sighs> Alright, well that was um, my seventh full expert run since recording this thing. I was on one continue until floor 18, and then from floor 18 to floor 46, I was able to do all of that on just one continue. Whenever you reach these levels during the, uh, during the storm, is when the palms start to get a little sweaty. No! Oh, come on, man. You can't do this to me. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. See that, the play point record? Ah, uh, man. After completely choking on floor 50, that close to Expert Extra, I decided to have another go at Expert, which landed me here. <sighs> like, I, it's to the point now where I feel like a kid again, and the fact that all I want to do is just sit here and conquer this game no matter what. But it's hard because I have I have stuff to do today. <laughs> so it's it's not like I can just like sit here and play the game all day. Like I need to work later tonight. So I'll do expert run number 10 and see how far that gets me. And then I'm I'm putting the game down for today. Come on. Here here we go. There we go. Alright. That one always gives me a heart attack. Okay, shut up and beat the beat the level. No! <clears throat> All right. Well, you know, sometimes you just gotta know when to uh, when to put the wrench down and uh, quit. All right, everyone. Currently seven o'clock in the morning. I got some some monkey ball to play. Some unfinished business. So uh, let's go do that. To start the day, I was playing pretty awfully. The pressure of living up to my own expectations was getting to me. Multiple repeats and aborted runs took place, and floor 28 in expert mode was beginning to prove to be my kryptonite. But using a speedrun trick I experimented with just once before, this happened. Boom. Yes. Okay. We're in great shape now, actually. This is like the best shape I've been in in terms of a monkey ball run. Okay, 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 okay. Just <laughs> gotta wait, you got, you got no distractions right now. Don't, don't. Oh my God, I passed everything without continuing. You can play the extra, it's a little bit hard, but do your best. I will do my best, baby monkey. I made it to Expert Extra, legitimately. So before I show you guys footage of the Expert Extra levels, I have a bit of a confession to make. Around two or three years ago, in an attempt to make it to Master Mode in Monkey Ball 1, I consulted YouTube to look for ways to cheat my way through it because of how difficult it really was. And there, I stumbled upon a video from Monkey Ball YouTuber Goober13MD on a glitch that you could do. 
and I'll just let him explain it. So just before your timer counts down to the number two, um, you actually want to go ahead and pause the game. And you want to try and pause the game so that the timer is on two seconds flat, and then hold up, directly up, and then pause it again at 0016. And as you can see, I timed out, but I still finished in the goal. And then I spawn on the level again, so I beat the level, and then, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm in Expert Extra. So I successfully did that glitch and unlocked the Expert Extra levels in practice mode, but I did not make it to master that way, and those Expert Extra levels, I did not practice them before starting to record this whole thing. I just wanted to let you guys know that these levels are technically not new to me, but let's see how I do. Okay, so here we are. We made it to Expert Extra, legitimately. Oh my god, I cannot believe I actually did that. I really didn't think I was gonna do it today. I've been playing for like two and a half hours, and I've been playing like absolute doggy do in that time. But alas, here we are. We have indeed made it. And, uh, wow, <laughs> whoa, okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're chill. We're not gonna meet the goal of making it to master, but this is fantastic progress because stuff like that will happen and we're still on one continue too this is impressive if i can make it halfway and it seems like i'm going to on one continue dude dude okay made that one we're over halfway through expert extra Hup. All right. got through that one Two lives to spare. Do not waste them, sir. Okay, just just wasted one. That was pretty bad. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh no way. Okay. AV logo. Don't don't let me down here. It didn't let me down. Extra nine. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I thought I thought I was gonna be able to make it by doing that. The day that I've had today, I'm ecstatic that I even made it into Expert Extra, let alone almost beating it like that on one continue. After about five minutes of fidgeting with Extra 9, I realized that this one was easily going to be the most problematic out of this new batch of levels. But eventually, we pulled through. Come on, baby monkey. We're not making it to master, I know, but you can at least, like, beat this level so I can put the game down. There you go. There you go, monkey. Baby monkey. Yeah, okay. This one. Okay. That was expert run number 13, too. Unlucky number 13 turned out to be pretty fruitful. Expert extra nine. There you go. Extra 9, 50, 48, 45, and 46. What a beautiful looking leaderboard. Following that big stride of making it to Expert Extra, I threw myself in practice mode the next day to see what strategies I could come up with for the extra levels. Extra 1 was easy, I found a path in Extra 2 that worked for me after some practice, and although we had seen Extra 3 before, I developed a strategy where I charged for the goal as soon as the clock showed 22 seconds, and that was able to secure me a win most of the time. Extra 4 and Extra 5 were both easy. Extra 6, however, was a wild card. Most of the time in practice mode, I found myself getting stuck in the tube, and after practicing many times, it seems like I either made it or I didn't. Extra 7 took me a while to get a strategy down for, but it wasn't too bad. Extra 8 was easy. Extra 9 was still giving me trouble though. I knew I couldn't gun it, I couldn't go slow. I honestly just had to use the force on the fly and see what worked. But thankfully, Extra 10 was easy. So out of these new floors, I found out that Extra 6 and 9 are the hardest, mostly because of the luck factor I found myself faced with. After that practice session, I did my next Expert run, which landed me in Expert Extra 3 before I lost a continue. So I was feeling pretty confident in my ability at this point. It seemed like reaching master mode was a pretty feasible goal. Okay, so something really weird just happened, and Abby is my witness for this, so we went through the McDonald's drive-thru to get a strawberry banana smoothie. I was wearing my monkey ball shirt because I'm taking a break from that. The person at the drive-thru window, like, kind of like did a double take, and all he said was, <laughs> monkey T-posing. I was like, 
what? And he's like, I, I'd rather have Goku T-posing. And I'm, I'm not kidding. Am I kidding about this? Uh, not at all. Yeah, that actually happened. And yeah. I guess that's what happens when you wear weird shirts. It was a little weird. Yeah, but I got my smoothie. Abby, hmm. are you ready to watch me play a round of monkey ball? Yeah. Cool. I think today's going to be a great day. I think today I might actually make it to Master Move. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I will, actually. God. I'm not doubting you. Good, don't, because I'm I'm the monkey master. You're the monkey master. That's what all the <laughs> all the girls call me, including you, starting right now. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. You definitely could have moved a little bit faster than that. <laughs> nah. Are, are you judging my gameplay yes, right I am, now? Actually. Why? This because is this is a near perfect run. This is the most beautiful run of Monkey Ball you've probably ever witnessed in your entire life. Okay, but you could have definitely gone a little bit faster on that. Apparently, Abby knows how to play the game. Everyone. Me too. <laughs> I don't want to hear any comments about how slow I'm going on this one. It's very no. easy to just yeah. roll yourself right off the edge. And I'm going to finish this one with like five seconds left, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm a seasoned monkey ball veteran. Oh, you're seasoned. <laughs> I am very seasoned. I'm seasoned like a good um, steak. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. It, it, it's just because you're here, you know? Yeah. It's, it, it's yeah. bad. Yeah. Okay, but actually for a first run, that's that actually like... That was actually pretty good. Yeah. A big cube. I yeah, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we, we made it. <laughs> this is the world that we one day need to live in. This should yeah. be like the end goal of life. <laughs> big banana, a big dull banana <laughs> house. Yeah, look at what he's like. He's trapping banana. <laughs> That's inappropriate. What he's laughing about. <laughs> So whenever you go to work, I'll be I'll be getting the master mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't you believe in me? No. Why? Because you believed in me literally like 20 minutes ago. What happened? I watched you play. All right. My confidence <laughs> is destroyed. Oh, no. See, see what you do. Wow. Well. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, on that note, after playing with Abby, with hours of practice under my belt, with new strategies by my side, I was finally ready to meet my goal. It was time. You know, sometimes I wonder if the arm of my chair won't be completely gone by the end of this whole journey. No! Why did you do that? What? Wow, out of all the floors to lose a goddamn continue on. No! Okay, have you guys ever seen me die on that level yet? Why, why, why? <sighs> well, you know, that was a really good run. That was a great run, actually. <sighs> I don't know why I'm playing so badly. made it to floor 40 with three lives on hand, so I think this might be the run. <clears throat>
Okay, got a little too overconfident there. No, no! <clears throat> Expert extra, come on man, we're making it. So attempting to reach the master levels in Super Monkey Ball 1 is uh, really pissing me off, in case you couldn't tell. So uh, I think it might be my best interest to take a break from this whole thing, but I also don't want to lose my skill to not playing for a couple days. So to compromise, I decided I'm going to play through my favorite game of all time, Super Monkey Ball 2. This is a game I've already mastered and beaten several times several years ago, so why, as a kid, have I been able to beat Monkey Ball 2, but the original, I'm 19 years old and I still can hardly make it to Expert Extra? Well, as we know in Monkey Ball 1, lives per continues are locked at 3. You can gain more by collecting bananas, but that's all that you get. In Monkey Ball 2, however, by earning in-game play points, you can purchase more lives per continue. The maximum amount is 99 lives, making it much easier to get to the extra stages. So, today, I'm gonna make a bet with myself right now. I'm gonna start Monkey Ball 2 on Expert Mode on 99 Monkeys. 70 stages, Expert, Expert Extra, and then the normal Master Mode. If I can make it to Master Extra, on one continue, then I will go back. I'll try to beat Monkey Ball 1 again. And if not, I don't know what's gonna happen. I know that I need to do it eventually, but I'm just kind of over this whole Monkey Ball thing at this point. So I'm gonna see if I can get some confidence back with this. We're able to beat the game starting from expert mode. But here we are, Monkey Ball 2. In terms of gameplay, Monkey Ball 2 is the exact same as the original. Uh, level design is a bit different. You know, you have new things like these uh, wormhole portal things like that. And then there's also like buttons that you're able to hit. So level design is a bit different, but gameplay is exactly the same. And I think in terms of making it to, um, to master extra, you know, that's 70 stages, but making it on 100 lives, I think I might actually be able to, be able to pull this off. I've done it before. And that was young, naive Ian. This is the older and wiser Ian stepping in. So hopefully I'm able to do it. And we're about to get our first, our first warp right here. Because Monkey Ball 2 still has the warp goals. So there we go. My run of Monkey Ball 2 started out pretty well, especially whenever it turned into a full-blown self-therapy session. Now is probably a good time to mention that I will not be collecting bananas that much just because I have a hundred lives and I don't think I really need them. You know, when playing Monkey Ball 2, I, I want this to be a really casual run of Monkey Ball 2 because God knows that I need it after all the stress with Monkey with Monkey Ball 1. Like, I, it's not even the fact that I didn't even make it to Master Mode. It's more so the fact that I can't get anything consistent down. Like, sometimes I'm really great at this game and games in general other times i'm just not i don't know it's more so just the fact that i've been practicing these games for 15 years and sometimes sometimes i'm just not very great at them when i really should be so that's why i'm making a deal with myself i'm if i'm not able to make it to master extra it might be time to just throw in the towel for the whole the whole journey here then again i may surprise myself but We'll just have to see. Okay, cool. Final stage of expert mode. There's another one where you just gotta get lucky. It wasn't quite lucky enough. I can get the placement, but oh, okay, never never mind. Got freaking lucky now. So lucky I made it to the expert extra stages. You completed without a continue. Now go to the extra level. 
I will, baby monkey. Thank you. Going into Expert Extra, I knew I had to buckle down. I still had 70-some lives left, but some of these stages are notoriously known for gobbling them up really quick. Oh, that was impressive, actually. There it is. Okay, so Expert Extra is done, meaning that we have 68 lives to get through Master Mode, then we will have made it to Master Extra. That's the only one in Monkey Ball 2 where I feel very comfortable doing the speedrun strategy, and then try to aim yourself as best as you can towards the goal. Like that. See how many tries that took me? Like five or six? So go, and go, and go. Okay, we're good. Made it through that one. That's really good, actually. Even went for that one up, because why not? See, like, I'm, I'm having fun with this now. Oh, having fun while playing a video game? Yeah, that feeling is, like, alien to me. Like, oh my god, I'm having fun playing Monkey Ball. A feeling I haven't felt in days after practicing Monkey Ball 1 for so long. We're looking pretty good right now. And what did I say? Easy as pie. Now we can get to the final master stage. After how many attempts? And Monkey Ball 1 of Expert Extra. Master Extra, we made it. Casual, casual. Boom, red goal. Jump to stage 5. Okay, awesome. I know I'm running low on time, but those bushels are too... Too tasty to neglect. Just like that. Okay. Yes, finally. Okay, so we made it to the last level of Super Monkey Ball 2 on one continue. And look at the last level. Look at how appropriate this is. It's a Nintendo GameCube. Now, I've only beaten this level like twice, so I don't know exactly which way it'll go. So I don't know if we're gonna beat it on this same continue, but we made it here, which is good enough for me. our last life that we're on right now. And I think this is the last task right here. Yep. And then the, the thing will open the disc tray. There, there's no way I'm going to make it on my last life, is there? We did it. Monkey Ball 2 in the books. All on one continue too. Goo goo, you did it. You completed the level. Filled with happiness. Eek eek key. Can't stop laughing, ha ha who. Magical spell is ee -e poo. <sighs> we not only made our goal of make your Super Monkey Ball 2's best friend. Thank you. If I was able to do that with Monkey Ball 2, then I know that Monkey Ball 1, it can be defeated. I'll tell you what, it'll take patience and persistence. But I'll get there. Promise you that right now, I'll get there. I'll get there.
Okay, so I have the house to myself for a week. My mom is going on vacation and I've been tasked with watching her dog for the next couple days uninterrupted. So I have nothing planned for the week. I'm off work. I got nothing to worry about. So now is the perfect time to crack down on some monkey ball practice. So help me God, by the time that the end of the week rolls around, I will have monkey ball one finished in its entirety. I just gotta remember my own advice. Patience and persistence are the two contributing factors. Whoa, not again. Remember, patience. Line yourself up here. Go around there. And that's how you do it. You don't need to you don't need to rush through it, man. Now you only got one life left. Wow, what a floor to lose a life on. We're all mammals here you and me baby monkey we're, you know we're all mammals here we're all mature <sighs> that one i'm getting good at it's good extra nine six three four and fifty <sighs> cool 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 okay about to make it to expert extra again we're at floor 50 with three lives i think this is the best position that we've been in going into uh expert extra before so this is looking really good right now and i i blew it i blew that one in through the nose out through the mouth look at that progress that we're making nine nine six three and four i should expect the comments people saying that i should go do something called touching grass which i've never actually done before so let's go try it out is this it yeah that's certainly I mean, yeah, I can see why it's popular. That's pretty, uh, huh. Well, that's cool. I think it's about time I try this random strawberry banana nectar thing that I got from Weiss. Ugh. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. <laughs> All right, baby monkey, lead us to the path of salvation. I don't know why I enjoy this game so much. It's just anxiety of the game. Uh, filming myself playing monkey ball for five hours straight really making my parents proud with this one i'm selling out stadiums with this uh with this skill right here oh yes i got the bushel too all right not quite there yet so don't get too excited there's always there's whoa always room to mess up just like that it's okay extra seven really close but not quite. Said monkey, take it slow. It'll work itself out fine. All we need is just a little patience. But maybe I do work well under pressure. Maybe this is something uh, something to be commended. Attempting to beat Monkey Ball 1 in the middle of a uh, light thunderstorm. Possibility of the game shutting off. 
air conditioner running cold air hitting his back hasn't had an actual meal all day is currently five hours into his monkey ball marathon remember your strategy or lack thereof only pull back when ah oh, when necessary oh man that's the second time today that that's happened second time today the greatest really oh I, yeah i guess we did make it to uh extra nine i already forgot after that long ass banana cut scene yep that's right yeah it's all coming back to me now second time today i made it to extra nine and just blew it No way. No way I'm actually about to do this right now. Okay. Six. No way. With the mic unplugged, I'm, I'm not even mad about that. Four. Three. Two. One. Last one. No! No! Oh my god, no! No! Oh my god, that was so bad! No! Oh my god! Oh my god, that I flubbed that so hard. No! I'm about to start crying. Like actually, no, that was so bad. There there's no I'm just I'm oh holy shit. I guess keep continuing. I don't actually mm, no. No 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 no. I don't I don't want that on the leaderboard. I don't want that on the leaderboard! Oh my god! What, what did I say earlier today? Expert extra 10. I'm spitting a lot. Expert extra 10 cannot be that bad, and it's really not until some shit like that happens. It's okay, Ian. I just don't want to fucking do it. You can. I believe in you. But no, because I've been playing. I've been playing for some... I'm starting to think this might all just be a big mistake. Because I just don't... I just don't know if I'm... I can do it. You can do it. This is expert run number 25. I am going to conquer this game on this fucking continue. And you know what? That's just the way that it's going to be. I am going to make this game my bitch. I am going to show it who the hell is boss. This game has pushed me into the ground way too many times. So it's time we fucking conquer this thing. The thing is with this, even though I'm hyping myself up with this, we cannot do anything risky. I will be playing as precise as I can. The accuracy of the goddamn Red Baron, dude. I am at the top of my game. I am never going to be this skilled at Monkey Ball again in my life. This is my peak monkey ball fitness right now i am getting through this shit i'm gonna do it with like lives to spare man i'm not even gonna make it by the skin of my teeth not at all i'm gonna finish expert extra 10 with like at least one extra life underneath my belt this is where i need to start getting precise so i need to shut up and beat the game Okay, 421, don't, don't let me down here. Please. Boom, got that magic ward in me, please. This is a make or break point right here. Floor 28. Yes. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I just mean business this time around. No monkey business. Legitimate, actual, business meeting type business right now, okay? Just play. Each level is a fifth your last life. You got it, you got it, you got it. Go, 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 go. Okay.
come on. Yes. Yes. Told you guys, I'm not monkeying around with this one. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. <laughs> what I tell you? What I fucking tell ya! Yes! Yes! What I fucking tell ya! Yes! I told you I could do it! Three fucking lives to spare! Two, three extra lives! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh! Holy shit! Oh my god, I can't believe I actually pulled that off! Holy shit. I am in the master levels. And it's not raining, the thunder and wind is not going to knock out the power. Okay, okay. Oh man, half an hour, 29 and a half minutes. Let's fucking go, dude. That's the type of shit that I'm talking about. So our initial goal has finally been met by making it to the master levels. However... There's a couple of issues here. First is that I have never played any of these levels before, so these are all brand new to me. Granted, I've seen gameplay footage of them from different clips on YouTube and such. And second, these last 10 levels of Monkey Ball that I need to complete are some of the hardest in the whole entire series. And the good news is that now that we're at Master 1, I can use all the continues that I want. It's unlimited lives from here on out. It may be in my best interest to just shut up and beat this guy goddamn game so master one i have no idea what i'm getting myself into here these are all brand new levels clearly i do not know what i'm doing i think i need to do a little something like this maybe maybe holy balls all right <laughs> yeah this is uh i can tell these levels are going to take a while okay Cool. New playpoint record too, so that's that's awesome. I just don't know. I don't know how to really do this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we are. We're setting a pace. We're setting a pace. Hell yeah. Okay. That actually wasn't too bad. Sick. Master 1 in the books. Now we got Master 2. Okay, hang on. I love the way that this stage looks. That looks really cool. Okay, goals all the way down there. I like the rainbow colors. I really dig them. I dig them. Oh, okay. I guess I should wait on the white platforms. It seems like the white platforms go. They fan in and out. Like right here. Move. Oh, okay. They move fast. Okay. See, this is the thing is that I can watch as many like people playing the master levels as I can. And I have for many years because I've never, I've never been able to make it to these levels. But like the way that the levels actually play, you can't really tell unless you try them out for yourself. So, because those platforms move quick. But, okay, made it. Master 2 also in the books. Okay, yeah, the Ma Master 3, okay. See, I've heard a thing or two about Master 3. I've heard from the Monkey Ball community themselves that this is one of the hardest stages in Monkey Ball history uh, for a multitude of different reasons, but I've never played it before, so uh, there's also a shortcut to it. I do know that. I would prefer to beat it the normal way though if i can but the last thing that i need to do in this level i think is gonna be the bane of my existence i'm just guessing so yeah um we are just gonna see how this goes i guess i'm i'm gonna be here for a while i feel like oh no i feel like i'm gonna be here for for a very long time okay 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 all right this i've heard is actually the hardest part this part right here of how fast these platforms move apparently and 
I can, I can, I can see why. Isn't it crazy how I made like such a big deal about like beating the 60 levels I needed to get here and then this is just what I'm greeted with, just even like harder levels. Granted, I don't need to beat them on one continue, but I feel like it's a, a fool's gamble making it to these levels because you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, um, I'm gonna at least try for a while to beat it the normal way, but if I need to like succumb to the darkness and try to do the speedrun strat, I will. It's 8.30 at night right now, and um, I I wanna sleep eventually. Uh, I don't wanna be stuck on this level all night is what I'm trying to say. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to do it. It's more of a question of whether or not I reach like the brink of sanity and I just completely go bananas. <laughs> I make that transition, man. I don't even know if I can do that. I might just have to take it one block at a time. Granted, if uh, the timer won't run out, that that might just be what I have to do. I can't jerk the ball around that much on such a small space. Well, it's not even the fact that it's small. It's just the way that it moves. It moves so quick. Dude, I can't do that. You know what they say about a guy with steady hands is that they can beat the Master uh, 3 level in the original Monkey Ball. I need to prove my worth around here. This, this takes me back to 10 years ago whenever I was beating Monkey Ball 2 for the first time and I could not get past certain levels to save my life and here I am, a decade later, playing the same game. God, what am I doing with my life? How, how, how? How am I having like a, a somewhat successful life right now? Like I, I, I have, I got good grades in college. I got a pretty good circle of friends. I have a girlfriend. I, I, I have a healthy relationship with my parents. Why, why, why am I making my life more miserable by, by, by putting myself through this? I, I, there, I guess there's not enough tragedy in my life apparently cause I'm, I'm forcing myself to get through this fucking level. Here we are in this amazing journey of monkey ball. Why did I decide to do this? You know, why Why do people decide to run marathons? My grandfather, he chose to run multiple marathons. But why did he do it? Because he really liked it. I would have to assume anyway. So why am I playing monkey ball right now? Suffering through this stage. I guess because I kind of like it. In a, in a sick, twisted way, I enjoy torturing myself like this. But here we are. Ooh. Yeah, we're continuing after that. Yeah, we are. I've been on the stage for an hour. Oh, hey, I'll tell you what. It's 9.30 right now. I need to go take the dog out and feed him and probably feed myself too. Normally I say break, like breaks are for pussies, but I, I can't get anywhere with this, so. Yo, dog, dog. Nah, there you are. Here, come, come help me take a break from this stupid game. See what other foods we got here. These aren't banana, strawberry, but close enough, whatever. I hate this. I think I'm gonna try the speedrun strategy. A little something like that. This actual thing, I bet you I could make a somewhat watchable, like 70 minute production on this level alone. There's just so much going on. It's like watching The Phantom Menace. Like each frame has so much going on. Like it's ridiculous, I tell ya. See it right there. Oh man, oh man. Match the speed, man, match the speed. There we go, there we go. There we go, now we're cooking with gasoline. Okay, okay. How does this thing, whoa. Whole, oh, holy crap. Dude, I don't, I don't know if I can do that. That bends at a really weird way. What the hell? That starts out as like, yeah, no, that's a straight platform. Oh my God, dude. It's not even like a, that, that'd be too easy if it was like the same, like all the way down. Like, no, it needs to start out as a flat thing. It needs to, okay. You know what? Fuck it. We're still, we're still going for it. I don't, I don't give a shit. I feel like I'm in like an an impractical Joker's punishment right now. It feels like the three other Jokers have locked me in a room and I'm not allowed to come out until I beat this level. Exactly what it feels like right now. I feel like everyone's just laughing at me. 
I mean, I would be too, because this is just ridiculous. I'm, I'm going crazy, man. I'm going bananas. This is stupid. I'm, I'm not monkeying around with that fact, honestly. Like, I, I feel like I'm going crazy. If I need to play this level for another, like, hour and a half. Oh my god, I wish I, I, w I, I wish I was doing literally anything else right now. God, why, why did I wish this upon myself? Wanting to play the master levels in the original Monkey Ball. Knowing what lies ahead with Master 3. Why would you want to subject yourself to that torment? Because I'm a fucking moron. Dude, I can't. I. This is stupid. This is just so dumb. The way you make me feel, you really turn me on. You really turn me on. Ah! Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. Don't stop till you get enough. Clearly, I haven't had enough yet, cause I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping, baby. I'm not stopping, baby monkey. I'm going crazy. So unbearably challenging. No! No actual human can like beat this, right? Like I I'm convinced like all the replays that I'm seeing of people beating this, like all the footage, like is everyone just kind of playing some cruel 20 year old like joke on me right now that like no one can actually beat this stage, right? Like am I just doing an impossible task over and over and over again and just expecting the same results over and over again? Isn't that Einstein's definition of insanity? You know, try the same thing over and over again and like expect different results because that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And I do feel like I'm going like genuinely insane. I've been playing this level for the past two and a half hours and I, I can't, I can't even fucking get anywhere. Oh my god, that took forever! Like, that shouldn't have taken so- I'm taking a break, guys. I'm taking a fucking break from that shit. It is 11.46pm right now, and we have only just made it to master level 4. I'm just gonna shut up and, and start playing again. I, I don't even know what to, like, what to, like, think of that. Like, that is the- shit, um... Okay, well that was that was to be expected, I guess. I assume. Yeah, okay, looking at the stage, there's these things here, and I think our goal is to just stay on those. Wow, wow, okay, you need to move quick. Alright, come on, fruit roll up. That quick enough? Yeah, it was quick enough, yeah. <laughs> Hey, that that one didn't take me three hours, so I shouldn't I shouldn't even be complaining. All right, then then this got more uh, more dull advertising, if you will. Um, all right, no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, this one is just constantly moving. This one, I, I don't even think I have time to devise a strategy for. It, it sucks how these last uh, monkey ball moments are just going to be filled with just frustration and piss misery but like why are these monkeys working so hard to get these dull bananas i mean they're they're good i love bananas but they're not that good it's like what what would you do for a klondike bar like i wouldn't i wouldn't play monkey ball master levels like the hell do you think i'm gonna do for a banana all right that was something right there oh whoa 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 Come on, goal. Yes! Okay. That one was actually really worrying me a little bit. But at least I could reset really quick, because I could just die like that. Okay, what's the... Oh, okay. Whoa! That's shifting really quick. Holy shit. Okay, I assume the stand on the red? Is that just all I need to do? I'm, I'm expecting something, uh... Something sinister. 
Nope. Okay. Guess not. That, my friends, I think is the easiest master stage in uh, the whole thing. And then uh, I... What... What is this? What is this gonna do? Okay. Goal is down there. I assume that this rotates somehow. It does rotate. Okay. But I wonder if I can just do that. Well, no, uh, no, because it flips upside down. Okay, I guess I can't. All right, that might actually not be too bad. I don't know if there's a way to cheese this one. I, I already cheesed uh, Master 3. That that level literally made me feel like less of a human being. That made me feel like, a, like an animal chained at a zoo exhibit. That was rough. Anyway, we're not talking about that level because we already beat it. Okay, speaking of beating levels, I should be able to just hop in here, right? Yep. Can I, can I look, please? Can I, can I look? Can I look? Okay. These games give you heart attacks sometimes, man. I swear to God. Okay, Master 8. Hmm. Okay, that's actually... Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm actually living way longer than what I anticipated. Alright, so that's cool. Alright. I feel like going around the side is... Yeah, okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay, Master 9. Hey, look, there's what there's one banana. Is, isn't that nice? Okay, this is the common consensus pick. Either this one or Master 3 are the hardest levels in Monkey Ball history. Yeah, okay, fun fact about this level. So in the original Monkey Ball arcade game that I told you guys about all the way back in the beginning of this whole journey, there was a master difficulty. However, there was only one level and you could unlock it after beating, you know, the 50 expert levels and the uh, 10 expert extra levels. You unlocked the one master floor and this was it. So I made it this far. It's foolish to quit now. We can do this. Master number nine, number nine, number nine. Okay. So you guys might be wondering, why is this one so difficult? Well, you guys will see in just a second. Um, you guys remember floor 32 from Expert? You know, the uh, level that I completed so many times in a row. You know, the level that I completed maybe around like five hours ago at this point. Um, yeah, remember how skinny that platform got? Um... Yeah, you guys can see what, uh, what, um, um, this, th this thing right here at the very end. Yeah, you guys see that? I have a feeling that's gonna be a big problem in this stage. I do not think this one will take me three hours. However, Master 9 does have its, um, reputation as being pretty damn awful, but I feel like if I just have the steadiest thumbs on planet Earth, I might be able to get somewhere with it. So you were already making progress. Not not by very far. And also 12 seconds on the clock left. Th this game actually, like this level in particular is actually really good at uh, kind of flexing the game's like uh, perfect control. The last platform gets so damn skinny. See, this is the level where that uh, patience part really comes in handy. Persistence, patience, and positivity. I am awful at video games. Was I a bad gamer? Yes or no? Answer as honestly as you can. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I remember maybe you would, for lack of a better word, fuck up. Maybe yeah. you weren't great, not good. Listen, if I manage to do this, this will be probably my greatest video game achievement. Do you wish me luck on this journey? Because it's going to be a pain in the ass to do. Don't you believe in me? No. Why? Because. You believed in me literally like 20 minutes ago. What happened? I watched you play.
What'd I tell you? Told you you could beat the level like that. One second to spare. One second. All right, welcome to the final floor in the whole game, and look who it is. It's our old friend, Ai, Ai who we have never played as. We, we stick with our homie baby all the way through, but every single level in this game will be conquered upon me beating this level. So, see if I got the chops. See if I can claim my, okay. Already not starting off well, but see if I can claim my title as Monkey Master. Okay, well, it'd be a lot better if I could get past his crotch region. We got it, we got it. <sighs> Come on, baby monkey. We got it. We got it, baby monkey. Yes! Yes, baby monkey. For glory. For glory. We did it. This is the last time I will ever see this banana cut scene. I went downstairs and I grabbed our old friend. If you guys don't know, Mountain Dew Typhoon is my favorite soda of all time. It was a thing back in like 2011 and they brought it back for a very limited time for summer of 2022, only available online. And so I bought many, many six packs of it and there's baby monkey straddling that banana again. But actually, before we crack open that delicious Typhoon, Let's play the credits game, because I have not played it yet, and I told myself that upon our final monkey ball run, our master run, I would play the credits game, so here I am, playing it. While I play through the game credits, let's look at how long this task ended up taking me. I began playing monkey ball for this project on June 10th and made it to master mode on July 17th. So this took me around five weeks to do, but let's dig even deeper. On that first day of filming June 10th, I played through the beginner mode and did five runs of the advanced mode before reaching the extra floors on my fifth attempt. Then I did one full run of expert mode, and that was around an hour and a half of playtime. Then, on June 24th, I did my second expert run, which took me about 45 minutes, and on July 3rd, I did my third expert run, which took 34 minutes. Moving on to July 4th is when I started putting in serious practice time. I did three full expert runs that day, which equated to a little less than two hours of gameplay. Keep in mind that when I say I did expert runs, I mean full runs from floor 1 to 50 and beyond. Throughout this whole thing, I had an unknown amount of aborted runs where I reset early. On July 5th, I did four more expert runs, which was another two hours of gameplay. Then, the following day, July 6th, I had finally reached expert extra on my 13th full expert run. I played for over three hours that day. Then the next day, I made it to expert extra again. And on July 9th, I made it to Expert Extra once more, but played poorly throughout the day. So between July 8th and 9th, I played for over 5 hours and had 18 full Expert runs under my belt. July 10th is when I took my break and played through Monkey Ball 2, which only took me an hour and a half to complete. Then July 17th into the 18th is when I finally made my goal. I had 6 full Expert runs and many aborted runs that reached Expert Extra until my 25th Expert run. This was the winning run that got me to master mode. All of the gameplay leading up to master from these days took me around 1,375 minutes to record. Master mode itself took me around 267 minutes to record, meaning, in total, I spent over 27 hours playing through Monkey Ball for this project. 23 of those hours were spent simply practicing to make it to master mode. And just to dive a little deeper, dissecting the master levels shows you how hard certain levels were. Master 1 took me around 2 minutes to complete. Master 2 took me about a minute. Master 3 took me 2 hours and 58 minutes to beat. Master 4 and Master 5 each took me 6 minutes. Master 6 took me less than a minute. Master 7 took me 5 minutes. Master 8 took me less than a minute. Master 9 took me 47 minutes. And Master 10 took me 9 minutes to complete. So yeah, take a wild guess as to which one gave me the most trouble. There we go, 1,069 bananas. Perfect number, perfect number. White-handed Gibbon. I don't know how many monkey levels there are for that credits game. I have no idea if that's any good or not, but we're done. B H. Motherfucking P, god damn it. Must be from the score. Yeah, I scored 
a lot better in previous runs, but who cares? That was the only run I made it to master. The master levels, yep, they are unlocked. For me to never play ever again in my whole life, period. So, my work here is done. Mountain Dew Typhoon, I cracked open my emergency six pack that I ordered last summer. This is the only occasion special enough in the past year or so that has warranted this. You have certainly been a game and a half. So, cheers to you. Cheers to all the audience members. It is 1.10 in the morning. I began my first expert run of the day yesterday, July 17th at 11 a.m. So I've been playing monkey ball for the past 14 hours. I am fucking tired and I can't wait to shut off all this recording equipment and go the hell to bed right after I finish this typhoon. Worth it. Worth it. For sure. Thanks for playing. Growing up, I loved playing Monkey Ball 2, but I often shunned Monkey Ball 1. Monkey Ball 2 was one of the first games I ever remember playing. It had the story mode, the very forgiving continue system. So by the time that I would, you know, pop in Monkey Ball 1, Whenever I was younger, I wasn't skilled enough to get anywhere in the game. But now, here we are, over a decade later, and I have successfully mastered both games and have beaten a total of, how many levels is that? Uh, 268, holy shit. Anyways, as a celebration of this, uh, I would guess 15 year journey coming to a close, it's time that I take care of business and vent some frustration.